Hey everybody, welcome back to another Texas Model Home Tours. It's Alex with Evolve Real Estate Group, EXP Realty. Glad you joined us today. We're in Salina, Texas, Cambridge Crossing Community. Amazing master plan community. Uh, we're gonna be showing you and touring the Highland Homes 274 model. The home we're gonna walk through today is a 3,800 square foot home. It offers four bedrooms, three bathrooms, three car tandem garage, 3,800 square feet on one level. It also has one of the coolest kind of game room entertainment spaces uh, that we've actually showcased on the channel. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. So make sure you hang with us through the tour, check out that room, give us your feedback on that. Uh, the model here, this 274 plan, being on their 74 foot lots, which is the largest lot size you're gonna find here, uh, kind of that upper end luxury product here, starts at about 1 million and goes to about 1.1 million for this amount of square footage with your 74 foot oversized lots. Now, if you're thinking about buying, there is availability, so make sure you reach out to us. But we can't wait to show you this model home today, give you the full tour. As always, hang with us till the end. I'll let you know exactly how you can get the most current updates on pricing, availability, incentives, and discounts that our buyers have access to. But let's get started with our home tour. Come on in. Hey guys, welcome inside the Highland Homes 274 model here in Cambridge Crossing. As we walk through the front door, obviously the thing that catches your eye immediately is the beautiful wood inlaid ceilings that match the hardwood floors that they have throughout with that beautiful bird chandelier, bird cage chandelier. I like those. We're seeing those more and more in our model homes, higher end finishes with those light fixtures. Off to the front of the house, we've got our home office, beautiful floating shelves, done a great job in staging that. We've got our double glass French door, so anybody who works for home absolutely would love that space here. As we walk in, we'll go to the left and down this hallway, we're gonna have two bedrooms, but before we get there, you'll see there's a full bath out here. It's got your tub, beautiful white and gray, kind of marble top there. Let's back up here. And that bathroom primarily services this bedroom here. This is the only bedroom that does not have an ensuite with a full bath. So that's gonna be the full bath that services this bedroom here. We'll scoop around so you can get an idea of your walk-in closet. Cool sign in there. Name's Bond, James Bond. I love some of the things. I don't even know where these stagers come across all of these things, but it's always cool to tour. Now, here's our second bedroom up front. This bedroom is an ensuite. It's got your full stand-up shower, frameless glass door, floor to ceiling, tile and that's kind of that white gray marble finish they've tied it in with the white cabinet with a dark counter one of the cool things about this bedroom is take a look at the size is not only do you have your bedroom but it's got this additional sitting area and space and i love what they've done here because if you have a guest staying with you and you know maybe you have chairs here like they do or you put a little couch there they kind of have their own little hangout space, or if you have an older teen, they want a little gaming area, they want a desk area, whatever. The room is big enough because you almost have like a secondary sitting room inside the bedroom. So really cool feature, lots of storage. We'll head on back, there's a view to the front of the house. I love the double doors, nice touch, nice wide entry. Now right ahead will actually be your door for the garages. Obviously this is being used currently for the sales center. But when you come in from your garage, you'll have your utility room, washer, dryer. And you can see here in the model, they've done the upper cabinets and lower cabinets with the built-in sink. 
I think that's a great add-on if you are building to have that. We've got our coat room, mud room area, and then we have a half bath powder bath here. So if you do have guests over, they don't need to go through any of the bedrooms. We've got a coat closet. So again, they've done a good job of maximizing some storage here. Very tall, tall ceilings. So you got a very grand feel when you walk into the home. Here's your formal dining area. Love that huge oversized round chandelier. What do you guys think about these light fixtures that we've been seeing in so many of the model home tours, the bird cage, the round chandeliers, just, you know, they're getting bigger and bigger, but I think they look cool. They, especially on these high end, you know, we are looking at a lot of homes, you know, 800 to a million plus. So these higher end light fixtures do give it a good, you know, good feel. I think that's kind of what people are expecting nowadays in these price ranges. We've got a great butler's pantry service area here with the built-in fridge and your wine rack. Very cool for those people who enjoy their wine and entertaining. Now let's go across is our third bedroom here. So this would be the third bedroom. So this bedroom is kind of separated from the first two bedrooms that were in the front section of the house. This is kind of the middle area of the home. Again, it is in full ensuite here with its own full bath. Floor to ceiling, tiles, solid surface countertops. Great finishes, we've got eight foot doors, closet doors, bath doors. Give you a look at the ceiling. I love the trade ceiling with that dark color. It matches very well with the countertops, the top to the dining room table. Very cool area. Give you a view again from the front of the house. And then let's take a look into our main living space, kitchen, eat-in area. So if you enjoy entertaining, you like that open concept, everybody together in one room, this definitely fits the bill there. Nice large kitchen. Again, probably 12 foot ceilings throughout. We've got our barn style sink, gas cooktop, quartz countertops, and they've extended these cabinets all the way through to kind of the breakfast eating area. You can see how large this is. They've actually got a six person dining table in here. So just to give you an overall feel of the size. And we've got that tile backsplash that's not only under the cabinets, but they've carried it above the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. Really nice high end touch. Let me know what you guys think about this kitchen. Love the countertops. I love the two tone white uppers with the really dark lower base cabinets. Three large pendant lights. You do have the walkthrough. So if you are using that formal dining space, you don't have to walk all the way around. We've got your double built in ovens, full walk in pantry. It's currently being used for storage for all of their property details and everything like that, their info sheets. Somebody was a wine enthusiast when they designed this house. We got another awesome wine rack built in there. Plantation shutters. You've got your door to the outside. 
But one of the nice features here inside the living room is the double sliding glass door that pulls apart from the middle. We'll head out there in a second. So those two center panels on that door will open up, giving you a great indoor outdoor feel. We've got our gas fireplace with the painted brick mantle all the way up to the ceiling. Let's head outside, take a quick peek there. Go ahead and open up one of the two doors. One of the best parts about living here in North Dallas is the weather and being able to get outside for a large portion of the year. People love hanging out outside. So having the oversized covered patio so you can get out here, get out of the sun for a little bit, but still get to enjoy the beautiful weather, kind of like what we're having today. And here it gives you a great view of what a 74 foot oversized lot would look like. Nice fenced in backyard. All right, let's head back inside and keep going with our tour. A lot of these things are going to be upgrades that you're seeing here. So if you go to the design center, like adding the fireplace to the covered patio, things like that could be upgrades. Now this is that entertainer's area wing of the home that I was talking about earlier, guys. So you've got a double French door that opens up to this room here. They've got it staged as your pool room. I love the three TVs against the wall. And then back here, we've got kind of our hangout area. This would kind of be your media room with the built-in speakers. So if you're an entertainer, this room, this combination of these two rooms is one of the coolest that I've seen. I love entertaining. I love watching football. You know, I could definitely see having a couple of our friends over, hanging out in here, watching football, playing some games, but being able to kind of close off that door and keep that rowdiness down. So anybody who's hanging out here in the living room and kitchen doesn't have to be part of all that. They've kind of got their own separate space. So I think that is one of the coolest game entertainment areas that we've seen on the channel. So I wanna hear your guys' feedback. Let me know what you thought. We'll head back here, finish up with the primary suite. They've done the built out here where they punched out about five feet or so. So you've got this cool sitting area, all encased in windows, tall ceilings, kind of cathedral ceilings that go up. They carried the wood floors all the way through to the primary suite. This is a huge room. And then I love the barn door. Instead of just the open door, closing it off, having that barn door into your primary bath. And here we go. Primary bath. We've got our split vanities large soaking tub. We also have a makeup area with the lower down countertop with room for a chair. And then our full walk-in shower, fully encased. I love the glass, so it brings in the natural light while you're in there, but then wrapping it with all of the ceramic tile, those round little ceramic tiles. And then here you are inside. Full seamless glass door. Plenty of space in there. Got your toilet room back there. And then for anybody who likes storage, who needs a large primary closet, let me know what you guys think about this. Got the nice tall ceilings. You can even go up with a third level of hanging. But there is a ton 
of storage space here. Ton of hanging space. Shelves. You've got this area here. So if you have like dresses or anything that need a full length, you hang them here in the center. Awesome. This primary suite is really nice. They've done a fantastic job. Here's the makeup area. Full length mirror, lots of light. That soaking tub. I really like the vanities too. Having that open area underneath first just a closed in cabinet gives it a different look. It's kind of like a furniture piece more than it is a cabinet. It almost looks like it's got the two legs coming down. These are the things when you start looking at luxury property, it's those fine details that separate a lot of the builders. I think Highland's done a fantastic job. Here's another view coming back into your primary suite. And then there's that sitting area. So you've got five windows bringing in a ton of natural light with this sitting space back here. And you're in your own separate wing. You're in the back half of the house, kind of kept away from the other bedrooms. Very cool. I think Highland has done another fabulous job in bringing another great product in model home to the market here in Cambridge Crossing. Again, this is the 274 model. Let's head outside and wrap up and we'll tell you a little bit more about availability on this. Hey guys, that wraps up today's tour, the interior tour of Highland Homes 274 model here in Cambridge Crossing, Salina, Texas. Master plan community, very cool community. If you guys have questions about the availability, discounts and incentives on Cambridge Crossing as a community, specifically Highland Homes, send me an email or direct message and just simply ask me for the current incentive and discount deals here for Cambridge. We'll go ahead and get that sent out to you. Obviously these things change all the time. So whenever you reach out, we'll let you know what the most current incentives are when you do reach out. Now I appreciate you guys for hanging with me today. Please leave me some feedback. Let me know what you thought about this model. Let me know what you thought about that entertainment room in the back, the combination game room, media room. I thought personally it was pretty cool. Can't wait to get your guys feedback here on this amazing one level 3,800 square foot home. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you are thinking about buying new construction and you're looking for a new construction sales expert to have your back to make sure you get the best deals, make sure you give us a call. I'd love to help you. We'll see you on the next model home tour. Take it easy guys.